The first thing about Holy Spirit we learn, He is our reporter. Second thing that we learn is He is our revealer. And the third thing is the Holy Spirit is our ruler. He is our ruler. It's so fascinating to see the fact that He was raised in the house of Jacob, but He ruled in the house of Pharaoh. He didn't rule the house of Jacob in the beginning. He ruled the house of Pharaoh. The dream was not that he will rule Pharaoh. If you remember the dream of Joseph, let me remind to you. The dream was that he will rule his father's house. But his father's house had no respect for him. And the house that had respect for him, Joseph, the prisoner. Joseph with a scandalous name. Joseph with a questionable reputation. He says, Joseph, you got the Holy Ghost. You're in charge. The whole country. By the way, here's the ring. Everything. He says, the only difference between you and me is I will still be Pharaoh. But the Bible even says further on that he, Joseph, becomes the father to Pharaoh. And guess what Joseph does? Turns the country upside down. He saves the country from their biggest problem. And when 14 years are over, when they went through the biggest challenge ever, Pharaoh, who surrendered everything to Joseph, became the richest man in the world. How do I know that? Because Joseph made every piece of real estate in Egypt be given to Pharaoh and every breathing human being and animal to be Pharaoh's. What would Joseph do if his brothers would do the same? We are so afraid of the word ruler. Some of us, we, we, we fear because we saw rulers, people who pretended to be rulers. Intimidation, domination, manipulation. And we think exactly like that about Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is not going to ruin you when you let him rule. Actually, when all of that is done, you will look back at your life and you will realize those who honor him, he will honor. He is not going to bring your life down. Not one bit. Your fear that he's going to take your favorite toys away, take all of your fun and not let you have sex until you get married and not let you have all the joy and all of these rigid things. When all of this is done, you will begin to see that actually he will elevate you to heights. You have no education, connections or intellect to get to yourself. The dreams you have inside of you right now that you cannot even make sense of how they come to pass, He will one by one, year by year, even if you go through hell, take it, unlock it, and always bring you up when you bring Him up. The fear of letting the Holy Spirit rule our life because He will take things and kick you out of the throne and sit on the throne and say, you, you be my slave. That fear is not scriptural. When Jesus said the Holy Spirit will come, he used the word paralectos. The meaning of the word simply means helper, advocate, counselor, and comforter. The meaning of the Holy Spirit in your life is that he is going to come. And when you give him the keys, he is not going to ruin your life. He is going to rebuild and revive and lift you up, not bring you down. Can somebody say amen? amen. I want to challenge you today, but Holy Spirit will never force himself on you. Joseph, after he translated the dream, Joseph never said, hey Pharaoh, can I make a suggestion? You should hire me. Joseph never brought his resume and says, by the way, I know you'll be looking for a guy to take the position over Egypt. Here's my resume, please consider me. Not once Joseph made a suggestion so that Pharaoh will choose him. And Holy Spirit waits to be wanted. Holy Spirit waits to be invited. Holy Spirit, he's not gonna push himself. If you don't want it, he'll remain as incarcerated prisoner and your life will remain a complete mess.